Hello guys and welcome to Human Resource Machine. This would technically be 18, but 18 is another little cutscene. So after 18 years, we finally earned a year off apparently to go and sit on a very desolate looking beach with windswept, I don't know what, and a, a dead tree and a load of rubbish in the corner. <laughs> I don't know who came up with these cutscenes because they make absolutely no sense whatsoever. I don't even think they really add anything to the game. I'm guessing it's just so you can sort of stare at something and try and free your brain for a little bit before you go absolutely crazy by not being able to do the puzzle. Anyway, moving straight on to year 19, countdown. This one gave me a little bit of trouble because I didn't actually realise what it was asking me to do. So, the description says for each number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox followed by all numbers down to or up to zero as a countdown. You've got new commands, they add one or subtract one from an item on the floor. The result is given back to you and for your convenience also written right back to the floor. Now I found out a very very handy button. If you click on this guy, you can ask him to give you an example. This makes it a lot clearer. So if your inbox is 3 minus 3 0, your outbox should be 3, then 2, 1, 0, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Like that it's pretty obvious what you've got to do. I actually did the wrong solution to the wrong problem about three times. So again what I've done, I've pre-written this one and pasted it in just because it's a little bit confusing sometimes with the jumps. Now, I'll walk through this step by step. First step, we're going to go to the inbox as usual, pick up a number and copy it to the floor. If we need to compare a number or do anything with it, we've always got to copy it to the floor. So we're going to copy it to the floor. Now, because it's the first number, we don't actually want to change the result, it just needs to go straight to the outbox. So, that's that step. Now, we need to pick it back up from the floor because we're going to do something with it. This is where we start to check what the number actually is. So if it's a zero, we would jump straight back up to the top and go and get another letter out of a tray. If it's a negative number, we would actually skip this bump minus and we would come down to bump plus. So if it was a negative nine and we add one, it'd be negative eight, etc. Let's just step forward. So jump if negative. It's not a negative, which means we're going to minus one from a number. There you go. Now we're going to skip out. All this jump here is doing is skipping out the next step. That's all. Then we're going to jump right back up here and put it in the outbox. <coughs> then again, we're going to pick the number up from the floor and copy it. Is it a zero? No, it isn't. Is it a negative number? No, it isn't. So we're going to minus one again. Pick it up. Copy it straight to the outbox. OK, again, I'm going to pick it up and copy it from the floor. Now, it's a zero, which means we don't need to minus or add anything. We just want to copy it straight to the inbox. We're going to jump all the way back up to the top, like so. Copy the new number to the floor. Put it in the outbox. Copy the number from the floor. Now, is it a zero? No. However, the number is negative, which means we need to add from the floor like that to give us the minus 8 and then we're going to jump and put it in the outbox copy it from the floor again and we're going to begin the checking process once more I'm going to speed this up because I think you get the idea this one the hardest part is figuring out what it actually asks you once you know what it asks you coming up with a solution isn't that difficult so let's just finish it off and let's see how we did in terms of steps I'm pretty sure there's a quicker way of doing this but this was the easiest solution I could come up with for the minute Okay, so size challenge, use 10 or fewer. Speed challenge, completing 82 or fewer steps, I did 122. Okay, that's enough. I mean, I will come back at some point to optimise these and finish them off, but for right now, I just want to get them all done. So as usual, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode.